Hey everyone, this is Jim. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of advanced. We're gonna play around. We're gonna experiment um, with U-boats uh, and uh, sonar. Detection uh, rate for these subs was really a dog. I mean, literally a uh, cat and mouse game. And many of these uh, crewmen never came back. Uh, the game, the developers have been really true. I mean, you truly feel like sometimes the game is rigged um, that they're out to get you but there are ways to avoid uh, sonar detection and, and trick the uh, the uh, destroyers above to actually use all their depth charges up uh, before they actually crush you um, and there's some things to display and maybe you didn't know um, so far in the development um, using what's called the, the shadow zone um, we'll talk a little bit about that uh, but there's some really good techniques and, and there's some things to avoid um, that hopefully will give you a little bit more excitement and understanding of why the game does what it does. And I think, oh man, I, I wasn't supposed to die. Well, <laughs> most u boats did sink. So just remember that. This game is in development. There's a lot more features coming. I might add that they're adding where the crew, if you watch DOS boat, they're going to run up. You'll see all the crew run to the front of the boat to get the dive plane down. You wait that distribution um, as you get reach that zero buoyancy and the, the sub actually sinks. So really cool features coming from the developers. Um, automated crew tasks where they'll, under a certain situation, they'll do this and that. That's going to help a lot. But we're going to work with what we have. We are playing the unstable version, uh, Preview 7. Uh, I believe Preview 8 is going to be the final wrap-up of B-126 um, uh, for that particular, the just fixes. And they're going to go in with the meat of what I just described, which is really exciting. So let's go uh, get into some trouble and uh, see if we can survive. <laughs> okay, so I, I've already recon this and typically these situations um i i run away um if, if you can if it's not too late um they don't enemy ships destroyers uh battle crew you know battleships don't count towards uh unless the mission specifies destroy a battleship um don't count towards the tonnage of uh, your sub goals of patro patrolling the sector but there is an F-class destroyer down here, and he's got a complement of about five additional uh, smaller, um, uh, not really destroyer. I, I forgive me, I don't remember exact. We'll, we'll get their their names when we get up there. Um, they did add the uh, contact information here of accuracy from the sonar um, or the hydrophone. Um, and another thing to mention is they broke in this preview the um, the audio from the from the operator in the hydro station of what he's seeing, like depth charges. Um, so I did report it. Well, hopefully they'll get that fixed. Um, but right now he's not really telling you. You know, it's kind of adds to the immersion um, of. Uh, what's going on even though you know they're coming you can hear him it'd be nice to get that splashes warning from him that we were getting before but again we'll work with that i'm gonna um actually um pick this up when i'm close um i'm quite a bit away and uh um we'll, we'll get into uh an engagement all right so we literally ran directly into a corvette <laughs> As I was fast forwarding, so let's go ahead and target him. Let's get set up. Uh, we can get at least the uh, sonar. If he's unchecked, he won't. Um, he's gonna scan everything within his his area. Um, if you check him, he'll actually just focus on that one um, for some reason. I'm gonna reposition him here. Um, 
We want to keep an eye on this visibility. You'll start to see a counter in here that you're being spotted. Let's see if we can't uh, target him now with sonar. Not sure what's going on here. Maybe he's not really there. Set a course to these coordinates. Hmm. We should be able to pick him up. This might be a bug. Just something else to report. Um, that's a new one on me. Interesting. Yeah, because it's not coming up in the contacts. I'll fast forward here a little bit. There we go. Oh. I think this is a bug because there's nothing there. Let's see if we can see it above. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> it's definitely a bug. Wow, he sees us now. Go forward first. And I am going to fix this bug because he should totally be able to pick up on that target right now. Very odd. Alright, we'll fix it. Okay, so I fixed the problem. Um, I'm not sure what was going on. So um, we're gonna use an F5 because it basically hones in on if you have if you've re unlocked that before, it hones in on the propeller noises. Um, it's uh, it's nice just to fire and forget. So we're gonna One, two, plug the tube. Hopefully we're not too close. We'll get a dud. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. I can see the torpedo going out. Ten seconds to impact. That should sink him. Major hull damage. Take a look here. All right, the unknown contact is the crew bailing out. There they popped out. Alright, so that boat's down. That's not really the tactics of the game, but it was a necessary evil. It popped up right in front of me. Um, I do have all the stations manned, the attack um, periscope at the bottom, and the extended scope on the top. This is mostly for calculation. Um, so that's one less to worry about. So let's go find the, uh, I'm gonna radio that in. Um, we'll go ahead and find the rest of this convoy that have appeared to somehow get spread out. As you can see, my tonnage did not increase by shipping, sinking that. Therefore, I got no credit and wasted a torpedo, so. We'll uh, head down this way. Quite sure the rest of the convoy's there, and once we get into a pack of them, we'll uh, we'll sink one to make some noise, and then uh, we'll go dive. Um, 
and uh, we'll do some cat and mouse. This is kind of hilarious. So this uh, F-Class Destroyer was moving about 28 it's knots. A it's already reported a miss. This thing took a hook shot. <laughs> and now Lord only knows um, which ship it's going to end up hitting. It'll just keep traveling till it runs out of uh, fuel. <laughs> we'll speed it up here a little bit. I am worried about this other destroyer coming up. He's going to start detecting me here soon. Just to give me an idea, these F-Class, they take quite a bit of pounding. Another bug I noticed, if I click out and then click back in, well, that didn't work. Usually it goes back to zero on the accuracy, but this is going to hit him. Watch it follow him. <laughs> it's making a turn. I like heat seeking missiles. I love them. And he's back up to 29 knots. He's actually outrunning the torpedo. Look at this. And I ran out of gas. <laughs> Alright, so we have a sub here to play with, so let's go ahead and get spotted by this Corvette. I got the engine stopped right now. Faster, faster. Right, that should get us detected. Calculate torpedo, calculate torpedo, calculate torpedo course. Interception course. I don't know if you can see in the video, but he's right there. Let's fire a, uh, a five will sink him. Let's do a three. Just to get his attention. Again, this isn't real world. I obviously would not take any of these tactics. Fire! We're just trying to get their attention. Now it says he has hydrophone, but he actually does have sonar. I think that's another bug because you'll see him use the sonar once we get down um, under depth. Damn, that actually might hit him. <laughs> it's 
torpedo is halfway to the target. Forty seconds. And he's altering his course a little bit, so. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Still not detected, no counter here. normally do here. Let's, let's go full speed. <laughs> faster! Faster! There is a bug right now that it's flipping back and forth between diesel and electric um, even though there's not really that rough a seas. It's been reported several times and it's supposed to be fixed in this next preview 8 so Um, we're not even getting enough speed to get his attention. So I'm gonna go ahead and do what normally I'd never do. And that's throw a decoy. So we're gonna use the pill thrower. And that's gonna pop out a little, uh, basically it makes bubbles picked up on sonar. Once he gets there, he's still there. He's thrown it, and you'll see it in the water. That should get everybody in the whole area to turn around. If not, the video is just going to be a complete disaster because this saves probably completely corrupt looks like maybe he is turning I, I don't know like they should start firing at the deep they actually fire at it I don't really see him responding. Or anyone else for that matter, they're all going their own merry way. I suppose we get, could just surface, <laughs> fire a few shots, but um, yeah, that does not seem to be doing anything. All right. I'm going to reset. I'm going to mark in the video where we fixed all this. Maybe a reload of the game will fix whatever is broken. If not, I'll go to an older save. 
So I went to a deck wash um, just so it would stop flip-flopping between electric and diesel engines. And now we actually, it, what did have this warship well within Calculate tor calculate calculate torpedo course. Sighting range, but he wasn't there. He's actually up here. Set an interception course. And the interception course is showing this direction, yet he is heading. Well, we'll have to see what the true bearing is, but hopefully he'll pick me up. I mean, I'm making some ungodly uh, surface noise. Visibility's 18. Part of that's darkness. I don't even see him out there. Maybe the developers will be able to use some of this data. Set an interception course. Yeah, three cables. He doesn't even have tracking. It reset to 4%. Well, let's just... Set a course to these coordinates. Stop using the calculation because it's not working. And... Mark this as a bug video. I mean, he's right there. That's that's the destroyer. I mean, he's literally right there. No detection. I'd have to light a signal flare. We're surface, but I, there now we're. Well, it started to go one percent. As you can see, he has the radar and sonar. Still shows him going away. Oh, there it goes. It's climbing. Oh, it went away. Yeah, this this is bu us bug save. I just want him to detect me, and it keeps bouncing back and forth. Twenty-one. I don't even hear the alarms on the ship. His guns could blow me out of the water. There he goes. He got me. Should be able to hear him. He's on us, so we're gonna dive. 
quickly. Alarm. Crash time. I'm surprised he hasn't fired. Oh, there he goes. Okay, so I had full detection, he was firing on me, and now he's just sailing away, and zero detection. I turned the music off just so you can hear, we're at a 140 in depth. With that it's not realistic so I'm either gonna have to go back to another save to do this video or there's just I've been having issues since 27 or this last patch so we'll try this again um, in another video with another save sorry about that um, it's good for the developers, at least they can see what we've been complaining about with uh, some of the buoyancy um, at periscope depth with, you know, um, pretty calm waters and yet we're still getting that flip-flop. Normally it's just during storms where the wakes of the ocean are going over top of the snorkel. So we will see. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this game. I'm definitely having fun.